Hi, I'm Jim and this is JNR Woodworking. This past weekend I took a little time and I made a new board for my chargers. Uh, I didn't make a big fancy like all the guys do and they got compartments down here to hang their drills in. I keep mine in drawers. The only thing I need over here is my chargers. Now, there's been a lot of talk, I guess, and there has been a few cases where these uh, lithium ion batteries have started fires when they've been charging. So I don't leave them out here charging when I'm not out here. They're not, these chargers are not on now. I've got them hooked up to an old computer switching station I bought back in the 70s. It has six switches on the front. One's a master, and the other five control outlets on the back that these, these things are plugged into. <clears throat> and I've got one plugged in so I can charge my cell phone. Now, to keep this thing from being on all the time, is I countlessly put a battery on here, start it up charging, forget about it, and I go in the house. Well, on the bottom of here, I have an Intermatic Twist Timer. And I believe this one is for one hour. You can get all different kinds, anywhere from 15 minutes to the one I've got on my furnace is for 12 hours. You just give this thing a twist. It's a mechanical switch and you can hear it ticking, maybe, and it's right running down. It's like the old timers you used to twist for your something you had in your oven. Same principle. Now I can turn on any one of these chargers or all of them as I want to use them. And we'll turn this one on. Now these are two rigid chargers. And this one uh, says right on it, lithium ion and NICAD rapid charge. Now when I bought my uh, first set of rigid drills, it came with this charger and two NICAD batteries. Well, the batteries went bad. I called them up. They sent me brand new ones free of charge, no shipping. But she says, these new batteries won't charge on your old charger. It says right on it. I said, are you sure? It says on there, lithium ion. No, no, no. She says, you need a different charger. So that's why I have this one. I said, well, how much is the charger? She says, well, it's free. You you filled out the service agreement. I says, is there any shipping on it? No, that's free too. So you're going to send me two brand new batteries and a brand new charger for free. Well, yeah. That's why I buy rigid tools and not any other brand. But now the only problem with this timer is if you have a battery on here, <clears throat> and I do this a lot, I put a battery on, I twist it for 30 minutes, which is more than enough to charge these batteries. The wife will say, it's time to eat, or I'll get busy and forget, I'll go in the house. So then the timer shuts this thing off for me. But when the battery's plugged on here and the charger is not on, it will drain the battery down. That's just what it does. So when I come back out the next day, I say, oh, crap. Turn the timer back on and charge the battery back up. I don't leave my time and my chargers on all the time. <clears throat> Everything has a life expectancy. These things aren't going to last forever. Of course, on these rigids, I don't care. They'll send me a new one. But I have my pass load over here. I can charge my little batteries for my nailers and I've got a switch here I can charge the phone like I said but that was it I didn't think anybody would want to watch me build a rectangular box and I had to cut some holes in each side 
because I slid it over top of my uh, ductwork for my exhaust for dust for my tools. And then I, I wanted to put a top on it so I could set stuff up here. All the wires go through the face, through these holes. I had to drill a hole, I think I used an inch and one eighth bit so I could get the plug through. A wire didn't need that much room, but hey, it got a plug on the end of it, you got to get through there. But it works for me. It's not pretty. It's not big and fancy, but it works. And that's all I care about. I use scrap pieces of material I had laying around in the shop. You can see the sides of plywood, the front and the top and the bottom is uh, MDF board, half inch thick, more than enough for what it does. So that's what I did on that. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the little box below and let me know. Until next time, work safe, have fun, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. So long.